What's poppin' everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Liberty Loop. And today I want to play a tribute, a game. I don't play games often, I think games are for kids. But... <laughs> I'm gonna play with a Bernie Sanders voter. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is Trump Doom. And from what I understand, this game basically is it's a video game based on the 2016 presidential campaign of our president Donald Trump so it was recommended that I play it in celebration <laughs> it's recommended that I play it in celebration of the United States's birthday celebrating the greatest president with the possible exception of Abraham Lincoln And, uh, we'll see how this goes. Got to put on my suit there. Thankfully, it's not a tan suit, which would be a disaster. But, yeah, this is Lion Ted's Casino. If y'all remember in the 2016 Republican primary, Ted Cruz was kind of like the big, the big apples. Like the Bernie Sanders of that primary. Except he actually believed in God, unlike Bernie Sanders, which people tell me he's an atheist, you know, but he looks like a Jew. I really don't know what's going on with that guy, but uh, thankfully we don't have to worry about him becoming prayers of Dan. As you can see, the imps have sombreros. That's to symbolize them being Mexicans, which thankfully have gone back to their country in the interim period ever since President Trump was elected as our leader. So they're no longer here in 2020. And I'd like to see if there is a 2020 version of this game available. But, you know, if anyone sees it, let me know. I'd love to check it out. So as we can see here, we got right in town at our Trump rally. And uh, Lion Ted's Casino. This looks like it's going to be a good game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the volume quite a bit. Because this, this is one of those things where it's like, this really does, it's like a time capsule. It really does just like, this is how things used to be four years ago. I remember four years ago, we were talking about Ted Cruz as if he was like the biggest threat to America. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Gosh. You're fired. You love to see it, folks. But we remember ten, like four years ago, we were talking... We were saying, yo, what if Ted Cruz actually won this thing? And thankfully he didn't. Uh, but, you know, he did come around. That's one of those things where, like, he did come around. You know, he did do the phone banking. He, he did what he said he'd do, and he supported our president. So, he's still a little bit of a beta male. But, I mean, what can you do? A loyal soldier is a loyal soldier, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I mean, I've never played this game before. Uh, it was recommended by a viewer of mine that said, you know, I'd be really... I'd, I'd really want to see you play through Trump Doom. It's basically like a recreation of the 2016 campaign. And uh, so here we go. I don't know how many levels are in this. I really don't. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm, I'd be very curious. But, I mean, there's really no way to celebrate the 4th of July. And I do mean July. Than to play a video game based on our president of these United States. So, as we can see here, we got some posters. Got Trump, Make America Great Again. I'd really like to see an updated version, you know, instead of make America great again, it can say keep America great. You know, that kind of thing. That kind of out of the box thinking is really what the Trump campaign really needs. So we're back at the Trump rally, which I really gotta say, the Trump rally thing, that's super cool. I really do think so. This is Surrender a cutscene. Oh shit, it's the Nazis. Antifa. Reminder, Antifa's the real Nazis. Our supporters the right to protest. Expect more attacks, Mr. Trump. Is that Bernie Sanders? Oh. What? Is this communist propaganda? Is the game over? 
Oh, wait a second. Alright, so we're in jail now. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is basically... This is like if, if you were a Republican in the Chaz zone. That's basically what this looks like it is. Looks like I'm held captive. So, this is, again, this is really just like something that Trump had to go through during the 2016 campaign. And it's just one of those things where it's like, can you believe going through what Trump had to go through? Honestly, I mean, it really is a, 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 a you know, it's, it's a, just a bizarre that he's still with us. And he's able to keep America great after going through. As you can see, they even got the, the guy even got the amps in there. But they, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I really just like, I've never, and it was one, like, I just saw what happened. I saw the primary go through, you know, some of my family members were saying like, you know, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, and I was like, no Bernie, you know, I remember celebrating the 4th of July, uh, back in 2016, and at that point, it was pretty much like all but confirmed that Trump would be our next president. But, you know, it was still, again, one of those things where just watching it all happen in real time has just been an incredible journey. I'd really like, here's an idea. I want y'all to let me know. Would y'all like me to do a 2016 Republican debate review? Could rewatch the whole thing. I mean, this game is making me a little nostalgic. Cause I remember when Trump was first like build the wall, and I was like, the fact that we don't have a wall already is troubling enough. Let alone everyone else is saying no to build the wall. How come China gets a wall and we don't get a wall? It's one of those things where it's like, it's a little bizarre. <laughs> we can see these feel the burn posters, burnouts. That's what I call them. Really, it's amazing that Bernie got cheated out of the primary twice and then just bent the knee on over to, to creepy Joe Biden. Honestly, I respected him more when he bent the knee to Hillary. And at least Hillary's like one of the most powerful people in the, in, you know, in the government and, and, you know, even in society, you know, with all these Epstein things. Or is it Epstein? I'm not quite sure, but with all these Epstein things, it was just one of those things where it's like, yeah, I mean, I would probably, if I were Bernie, bend the knee to Hillary as well, just given the fact that I don't want to end up dead, you know? But, this time around, he goes on and bends the knee to Joe Biden! Joe-ass motherfucking Biden! It's just, dump the Trump. That's what they say, that's right! See, this is the thing, is the left can't meme. You really have to understand this, is the left can't meme at all. This is a really good recreation. Because, like, the left, it's just, again, they just don't know how to meme. Trump must die. I remember, I remember in the 2016 campaign, it went over my cousin's house. <laughs> Unbelievable. I went over my cousin's house, and I saw, you know, I went into the room, and I was like, hey, feel the burn in the bathrooms. That's weird. You know, and I went in there, and I was like, what, what was that on your screensaver? And it was a Trump must die screensaver. So I totally understand that. Dump the chump. Remember when, remember in the debates when Hillary was like, trumped up, trickle down, and they thought that was like the most intelligent thing that they'd ever seen in their lives? So absolutely cringy. Did I do it? I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm just killing the Antifas. It really is amazing. Like, this game was apparently made during the 2016 campaign. But, you know, it really did predict the future, because you got Antifas that are the real Nazis. And from what I understand, I was I was given a little note sheet. And from what I understand, these are the Nazi enemy types. Ah, uh, from, uh, Doom was made by the same guys that made Wolfenstein, which, uh, is a game about killing Nazis. But this was made before the political correctness that we currently live with. So it's a real, just a, a game about, you know, World War II, basically. But in Doom, they got an Easter egg where they got the Nazi in there as like a little reference. And so I think it's pretty awesome that they made that little reference, you know, turn into the Bernie Sanders supporter, the Antifa. Because this is really around when Antifa started to first crop up. It was in 2016. 
when uh, when Soros just honestly gee, Soros I really don't want to get into Soros too much here but it's just one of those things where I'm gonna turn the volume down it's really nice music though I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it down a little bit I mean this is really one of those things where you got you know what makes me electable your vote that's pretty good a little you know machine there what's going on okay but yeah, so we're going through... Oh, shit. This is basically like foretelling the George Floyd thing. This is all cities on fire. Got Nazis in the stores. Got Nazis in the, in the courtyards. I, it's one of those things where you got... A real people don't understand. I'm going to read these. Thinks he can manage head of state. Can't even manage the state of his head. See, that's just... That's one of those things. Was, what are they going to do just besides Photoshop? That's all they got. Is that JFK? Looks like JFK right there. But that's one of those things. It's like, that's the best they got? Really? It's a Photoshop? Again, the left can't meme. I really just don't understand it. Oh. Not the president we deserve, but the president we need. <laughs> How'd that go out for you? Burnouts. Got Super Bernie Bros. Entertainment System. Bernendo. It's pretty clever, but still communist, by the way. Got another suit. This is a... Oh, shit. Okay. It's like when they put cement in the milkshakes. Antifa puts bombs in the fire extinguisher. So you try to set out a fire, and then boom, you just blow up. That's where they always hide. Oh, what's this? Oh, whoa, whoa. So is this game trying to like make like a little bit of a conspiracy? Is this like Ted Cruz and Bernie Sanders were concocting to take down Donald Trump? Is that what this is supposed to, to claim? Because that may be true, honestly. That, that could have been true. I feel like Ted Cruz is like one of those people. Whoa, what is that? I feel like Ted Cruz is like one of those people that would do anything to get power, but knows his place. You know what I'm saying? What's this? He fought the wall, and the wall won. That's what I'm saying. Don't drink the liberal Kool-Aid, kids. I'm all oh, man, to be honest. I got some boxes up here. Jump on top of this building. But that's one of those things. Is like, Ted Cruz is just like, you know, he wants power, but he knows how to wait his turn. You know, he, he respects losing, but, you know, when the, when the fight's in a fight, You'll do whatever it can, you know, even if it means powering up with a socialist or teaming up with a socialist. You know, it's totally possible. But again, it's just one of those things. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Got a picture of Bernard. Whoa. But again, 2016 was like a whole nother world, man. Like, you go outside today and there's SJWs going through the streets, you know, setting buildings on fire. 2016 was like, you go to, you go outside and there's God-fearing Americans just, like, enjoying their day. And now you can't even go outside. You got my, my governor in North Carolina is doing this whole you gotta wear a mask or go to jail thing. And it's like, I don't respect your mask. I don't respect your jail. Don't tread on me. You know what I'm saying? But instead, they keep treading on me. And even that's the thing, it's like Trump may have the presidency, but he doesn't have all the power. You know, the liberals managed to sneak in North Carolina four years ago. Even though Trump won, the liberal managed to squeak by, maybe stolen a vote or two. In, uh, in North Carolina, which is just totally, you know, I can't believe it. Socialist potato computer shop. I saw this post online, a bunch of potatoes uh, being dug into the ground hospital <laughs> that's not a hospital if you're in trouble you don't want to go over there that's for sure Jeez louise oh goodness oh goodness oh lord it's a caravan full of antifas unbelievable but i remember in 2016 like you can go outside you can go enjoy the family you can just go get a picnic now, if you go outside, you're going to be thrown in jail if you live in a Democrat state. 
It's just absolutely unbelievable. But yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things where it just really feels like, again, four years ago, really feels like a different time. Really feels like we were, like we were in a different universe four years ago. And it's just, just amazing to play. This is a pretty good game, I do have to say. This is a pretty enjoyable game. I hope y'all are enjoying my playthrough. You know, if you got any other kind of games that support President Trump, I'd like to see them. You know, it's, again, it's 4th of July freaking border hopper that's pretty good it's fourth of july and uh, you know of course i do mean july and so it's really just one of the you know again if the democrats do steal this election with which they I, I, you know i'm i don't know i think they might be able to i'm nervous about it to be honest because that's the thing is the deep state has more power than you realize and so they, they're really they've really been trying to perform the illegal coup they even tried impeachment they tried russia gate i would love to see a doom game that goes through the russia gate era of the trump presidency i think that would be got feel the burn bet on bernie well bet on bernie twice and he still lost so that's a shame maybe y'all should not run anything or bet other people's money I keep going about how you know the economy is crashing because they're betting with money that they don't have, well, maybe you shouldn't be betting on in anything either. Keep betting on Bernie and he keeps losing. Keeps capitulating. Is that a coffee machine? Yo, that's not bad. Man, yeah, this is pretty good. Am I, I think I'm in like the Bernie, that's a safe space. Can't get in there because I'm a conservative. That's pretty funny, actually. But that's the thing, it's like, you know, I... It's just one of those things where it's like, this is really accurate. I do remember seeing these reports. There's this uh, group called Project Veritas. And they, they did this report about the Bernie Sanders campaign was plotting down. You know, burning down cities. You know, just plotting all kinds of stuff. And I got, I got the Ufired Finger. Which is probably the best weapon in the game, to be honest. But I remember that when they were plotting that. And then, like, all of a sudden, lo and behold, Bernie drops out. You know, a few days later, they play the the George Floyd deep fake, which yeah, it's a deep fake. We all know it's a deep fake. You know what I'm saying? But you know, they play that, and they conveniently it's just like, all right, now Antifa's going through the streets. It's just an excuse. They want civil war. That's the thing. Is they want a civil war, and I feel like you know, if we can play these kinds of games and we can prepare for civil war, I mean, that's pretty good. Man, again, I really, if someone's got any, you know, any sort of extra bonus, you know, episode or anything, I'd really like to know. I'm having a good time playing this. Whoa. Oh, shit, I don't have a red key. What's down here? All right. I got myself a red key. Oh shit. This looks like an old school game and not a Bernie Sanders Nazi camp. Should I say concentration camp? And that's the thing, it's like I would love to see a game based on the the whole concentration camp myth. Where like maybe you go to the concentration camps and then like there's nothing there and that's the end of the game, you know what I'm saying? It's a big boss. Oh shit. Alright, made it just in time for our rally. Can't be stopped, won't be stopped. Even if COVID was around, can't be stopped. Sanders base one. Alright, now we're in Sanders base two. Trump breaks out of Bernie Bro Jail. Whereabouts unknown. Oh, shit. I guess that's a live update on the game. You're fired. All right. You're fired. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this playthrough. I don't normally play games on my channel, but, you know, this has been one of those things where it's like, how could I not? Again, 
4th of July. We're stuck inside. My Democrat governor canceled 4th of July in my state, which is just... The fact that that's even allowed, the fact that that's even possible, honestly, makes me more upset than anything that happened in that Chaz. You know, they sent in the military that steamrolled all those liberals and Chaz. They should send in the military to Democrat Roy Cooper's mansion and the governor mansion. They should send some military over there and say, reopen. Reopen thanks or re not Thanksgiving. Though I am thankful for a lot of things. But, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a deep fake? Well, yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying is we're living in a world where we can't even go outside to celebrate our own birthday. It's just unbelievable. I can't believe it. I, you know, in fact, I won't believe it. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, I wish Trump were more of a fighter sometimes. And I get it. He's tired. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those things where if Trump loses the election, which, you know, I think it's very possible that the Democrats are going to steal it. I do hope Trump runs again. Because there was that one... Oh, shit. Another deep fake. There was that one president that, that won and then lost and then won again. His name was like Roly Poly or something. And, I, you know, that would be pretty cool. Like, Trump would go down the history books. You know what I mean? You know, he'd win office when he was like 80-something. I think that would be pretty cool. This is just one of those things, right? These are the things I think about. You're fired. I'd like to see a QAnon version of this game, to be honest. To be completely honest. Alright, so now we're in a new level. Got a safe space. Oh, time attack. How well you do in the level affects your reward. Time it takes you, monsters killed, and secrets found. Good luck. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Oh. Yo, that's scary. Alright, so... I don't think I've died yet throughout this whole thing. I'd, I'd like to keep it that way, but you never know. But yeah, man, that's one of those things where, again, it's like... Like, liberals would never play a game like this. They would think it's offensive. They would, like, you know, they... You know, because liberals just don't have a sense of humor. And again, that just goes back to the whole thing. is the left can't mean. They can try. Oh, oh, bloody hell, they can try. But they can't meme at the end of the day. They're a bunch of soy boy lying liberal lefties. And it's just... This is just good fun. Even if it does poke... Like, this is just a little poking fun at Trump. I mean, obviously, it's taking a meme from... From, uh, from, you know, the Democrats. But still, it's just one of those things where, like, you know, it's still kind of funny. You know, we can laugh at ourselves. That's the thing, is you put a Bernie Sanders meme in here and Bernie bros would go like, it's, you know, Russian interference, Bernie laws, Bernie laws, you know, Russian interference, and it's like, you know, Russian interference, huh? It's not interesting. I don't know what I'm doing here. Am I drowning? Lord have mercy. You. That's a lot of sombreros. All right, that's good enough. Oh, there's some health packs over there. I'd like to try to get those. Yeah, I'm pretty good at this game. I mean, again, I'd never played it before, but I'm pretty good. Just jump right across, you know what I'm saying? Go on through. There's a lot of enemies here. Got all the sombreros. Alright. Alright, so let's go up here. Whoa! 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 Okay, hold the phone, everybody. I think I'm flying. Hey, everybody, I'm... F 
This is what I'm talking about. This is the thing. Is this game is so good. Holy shit. You can just start flying. Trump's got superpowers. Your rank? President. That's what I'm saying. Got this cool thing. Oh, what is this? New gun? Is this a Bernie Sanders rally? <laughs> As you can see, it's a lot smaller. No one's there. Alright, what's next? Whoa. Trump must die. You wish. Alright, so what's going on? I'm still flying. Holy mackerel. <gasps> Is that Bernie? You're fired, Bernie. You're fired. 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 Woof. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Whoa, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, yeah, in the Clinton administration, no such thing as a Clinton administration, Bernie. You failed in your quest. Ly lousy, lying, socialist pig. Alright. This game's pretty good. You have succeeded at stopping Bernie Sanders. Ain't that right? However, the blast did not finish him off. He just started babbling nonsense and mentioned returning to Mexico. No sense in dealing with the final blow. He's already a train wreck. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Upon further investigation of the remnants of what used to be a Bernie base, you discover a clue to the location of Hillary Clinton's whereabouts in California. Seems that burnouts hastily went to destroy any and all data regarding Hillary Clinton along the possible leads or hints of her current locations, leaving you with only bits and pieces of information. Oh shit. Taking what you have, you put on your glove as you point to a picture of her on a nearby monitor and shout, you're fired. God bless America. Alright. So we can still... Alright, cool. We can still fly. Go inside building. Alright. This is just one of those things where, man, this is a fun game. I might make this a regular routine on my channel. Feel the burn. No money. That's what I'm saying. They gave it all to him and then they gave it all to him again because they don't know what the hell they're doing. Imagine someone says, yo, give me some money and I'll do nothing. And then you give them money and then they do nothing. And then you then they say it again and then you do it again. It's just, come on. It's amateur hour over here. Take back our country. Damn right. Go up there, grab the key. It's an evil demon. Got Trump 2020. Trump 2016. Right, right, right. But yeah, this is this is a really fun game. I mean, it just reminds me of the good old days. We're really ramping up. It's one of those things where we're really ramping up here for another one of these. Oh, what's this? Eliminated. Take back our country. And we did. Damn right we did, didn't we? Oh. I don't know if I like that weapon pickup. It kind of reminds me of the that Marxist symbol with the, the, the fist where they do this or whatever. Some Marxists keep punching each other or some shit. I don't know what it means, but... Trump 2016. Make America great again. Van Garrison. <laughs> the adult in the room. <laughs> they ain't there right. That's one of those things. Is these, these memes are actually really good. That's one of the thing about Ben Garrison is like, you know, sometimes, I don't agree with him all the time, but when he's right, he's 
you know, is so right. And that's one of those things I just really do respect about him. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. God dang, Trump was looking good back in the day. I'm just saying. He's our president. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to say that. You know what I'm saying? He's our president. Oh, shit. We're at the rally. Coffee break. Big sister is watching. Oh, Nelly. Are you kidding me? Get your hay speech out of this campus. Oh, Lord. Sock just the first agenda wars. That's pretty good. All right, so we got a bunch of... Is this the Hillary Clinton army? Is this the Russian troll bots? This is a bunch of Russian trolls. Got the Antifas. You got the Daemons. You got the skulls riding around. I'd love to see a Trump Doom 2. You know, battle on Epstein's Island or something. I think that would be a pretty good episode. Feminist and proud. That's unbelievable. Whoa, is that Black Lives Matter? Unbelievable. Unbelievable The Black Lives Matter is still a thing. I, one of my big disappointments with Trump is that he hasn't just stomped that out sooner. I was expecting that to just be disappeared over and done with ASAP, but unfortunately that's not been the case so far. <laughs> Got male tears. You wish. I'm just really exploring. This is a pretty big level. I wasn't born a boy just as much as I didn't become a girl. It's just that nobody cared to ask me first. The only difference with cisgender people is that they agree with their gender they're assigned. What the hell? Sounds about right for a Hillary base if you ask me. That sounds like something Hillary would say. What is this? Hate man? Like the right stuff too? Been brainwashed, been brainwashed by your feminist friends or just weird and angry? We don't understand nor care to help you fit in. That's pretty good. Got cis scum. Keep calm and kill all men. This is this is absurd. I, it really is just so absurd. Non Ciscom bathroom, Ciscom male bathroom. This is just really absurd. This is one of those things. This, this level is probably outsourced, like a liberal made it or something. It's like, yo, make make me a level. I probably got you know, make me a level, and then some liberal. And then this is something the liberal would make. Fem English. Unbelievable. Got a key back here. What did I have Hillary on it? Trump must die. Trump the Trump. Can't even leave it to a liberal to not be able to speak English. Trump the Trump? Come on, out with it. Hopefully y'all are appreciating this playthrough. I mean this is a pretty good job, I think. Got some male tears here. Uh, there's some more stuff I gotta look out for. Embrace androgyny. If I ever have a kid, my kid becomes androgynous. I, I don't know what I'll do. I just hope that I can make a YouTube video about it and someone will guide me. Lord have mercy. Do you imagine going to work and you just got pictures of Hillary up on your wall? What kind of like deranged psychopath do you need to be to get Hillary on your wall at work? I mean, I guess they work for Hillary. I mean, I guess so, but still. Think about all these Antifas in here. Oh, God. So many Antifas. 
Alright, so I got two of the Ks. I do... I do think one of the other Ks should be somewhere. I got that one. It's a red key. It's a red key somewhere. Oh, red key somewhere. Oh, huh. Don't know what you will. I'll turn around and see feminist stuff. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I gotta go find this red key. Safe space ahead. There's a red key somewhere. Right. Haven't been here before. Dang. These Democrat liberals are getting me. Unbelievable. What is that? My little po oh my goodness gracious, this game's gonna kill me. Oh lord. Alright, so I got all the keys now. So I believe that means I go this way. Open up the door. Oh, dump the <laughs> Do you remember that? That's one of those things is, do you remember that? Oh goodness. Is my limo. Got that T on there. T stands for testosterone. Which all the all the youth are lacking. Oh, is that Hillary on the door? Looking like a demon. Looking like a demon from hell. I guess this is Doom, so you don't you know, it is Doom, so you don't really need to mod anything in order to make Hillary look like a demon. She just does. Could probably put her into the main game and it would look just fine. You're fired. Oh goodness. You're fired. 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 Dang. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's scary. This is horrific. Holy mackerel. Can't even speak English. I'm just so scared of all the Hillary signs everywhere. Got another sombrero in there. What is this like boarding school? Is this like a secret bunker? Is this where all the Democrats hang out? Got a yellow key. Looks like this is where all the Democrats hang out in some like underground base. It's not just so weird that the Democrats just, like, they just, like, instead of being, like, normal people, you know, working a job, they just go, you know, roam around like vagrants and then wind up in these weird communes like the Chaz or whatever. It's just unbelievable, these people. And you got Joe Biden just too dumb to even know, like, how to tie his own shoes. He's probably going to be owned by the Black Lives Matter people. I wouldn't be surprised that the Black Lives Matter people are in his pocket to be honest. If I'm going to be entirely honest with y'all, I would not even be surprised. Oh, it looks like we got another key. I'm doing pretty good, though. Again, I haven't died yet. So it's, I mean, the game... I am playing on it as a Bernie Sanders voter. So, I mean, the game ain't too hard. I didn't want to get frustrated, you know. Maybe I'll do another playthrough as a, as a Republican. Do the true mode. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh. I was not expecting that. On the floor, we got this demonic iconography. Oh, goodness. What is going on here?
Lord have mercy on my gosh darn soul. Yeah, this is definitely deep in Hillary's bunker. I'm guessing the final boss will be Hillary. Or Bill, maybe. Maybe Hillary and then Bill. That's the thing. It's like, if, if really, if this were really true, if this weren't just a, a video game about the election, the final boss would probably be Epstein. Because we all know Epstein's probably not dead. He probably, you know, just had a body double or some one of those things, you know? Clinsock. Oh, oh, jeez. Obey. Oh, jeez. But we all know Epstein probably ain't dead. He's probably hiding out somewhere in a bunker. Some other people like Seth Rich. They're all just having a good time. Just hiding out, pretending like they're dead. The world's out looking for them. And you got Giseline Maxwell or whatever her name is that's arrested. She could be a boss. That's one of those things where it's like all these Democrat liberals want to say blah, 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 blah. Trump did this, Trump did that. Trump's been fighting the deep state and the pedophile ring since day one. Whereas y'all wanted to, you know, they wanted to elect a pedophile ring leader. Like Hillary Clinton. So it's like, it's too, super hypocritical for these people to say, you know, simultaneously. For these people to say simultaneously, you know. That, you know, Clinton, if Clinton won, we'd be in a better place, be in a better place. And yet, you know, you see Epstein going on. Epstein's got, you know, a little black book, you know. Yeah, Epstein going to, you know, Hillary's, you know, kids' wedding and everything. It's like, and honestly, they're probably both of them. They're probably, they probably, oh, you know, I'll be honest. I would say it's very likely that Epstein is probably chilling at, uh, at Hillary Clinton's mansion. That's what, you know, if I were to make a wager, if I were a betting, betting voter, that's what I would bet on. Hillary's base two. All right. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. It's a pretty good game. I'm enjoying that Trump's got these superpowers and can fly. That's the thing is people say that, oh, Trump can't walk up the stairs. He's so weak. He's so weak. Yet, first of all, I don't see y'all walking up 15 flights of stairs every day. I don't see y'all running the country. It's exhausting probably running the country all that time. But again, it's one of those things where like, you know, he really does, you know, so what if he slips up the stairs or slips down? It's just one of those things where it's like, he's running the country. You really can't expect a man to be at 100% peak capacity when he's out doing so much. He's running the country. He's also saving the country from itself. Because again, we got Epstein. And you got these Giseline Maxwell characters. You know, they're just out there preying on our children with Hillary and Bill Clinton. They're just preying on our kids. Trump's fighting them. I saw that Bill Barr, he sent Bill Barr all the way over to, to Giseline's, uh, Giseline's prison place or whatever. Bill Barr to make sure that she's in check. She can't escape and she can't, you know, go do anything else. It's probably a good thing. I mean, Bill Barr has been indispensable, honestly, as far as this administration's goals. Jeff Sessions, man. I just, I can't believe Jeff Sessions. I really can't believe that. That was just such a disaster. The whole Jeff Sessions thing was just, mm. I mean, you win some, you lose some. That's the thing. Is like Trump won. Trump wasn't like a super, you know, duper intel. You know, he's not the smartest man in the world or anything. You know, he makes mistakes. You know, he didn't know everyone. It's a first timer. So when you accidentally bring on someone like Jeff Sessions, you know, it's it's all right. You know, we all make mistakes. You don't know everyone inside and out. You don't know who's willing to be loyal, who's willing to betray you. So I mean, I don't really fault. I don't really fault. Trump for Jeff Sessions. I, it's just one of those one of those things where Jeff Sessions should have known better. Every, the people around Trump honestly should have known better as well. That I will say. The people around Trump probably should have known better, but you know, it's whatever. We got Bill now. Bill Barr's, you know, again, he's been indispensable. He's been advancing this agenda 
very, very brilliantly over the last, you know, year, especially. Oh shit, it's emails. As you can see, Hillary's shredding emails in real life and in the games. Oh, it looks like we're turning off the email shredder. Alright, so I got all the keys. Holy mackerel. You're fired. Is there any more? Did I get both of them? Wonderful. Alright, what could possibly be going on? Chairwoman Clinton's armor. Whoa. Rocket cannon. Tempered glass. Margin steel. Emergency notices recently discovered that the armor can still be destroyed by high temperatures such as lava. Oh shit. Alright, alright. The music's a little scary, I have to say. Alright, let's see what awaits. Got the big gun. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Get fired. Alright, y'all. I have a feeling something's going to be coming soon. I have a feeling something big's going to be coming up soon, so... Strap yourselves in. Oh. Hillary's base. Alright. So this is deep inside Hillary Clinton's base of operations in the 2016 campaign. Oh. Whoa. Oh, okay, so this is Hillary. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Hold up. Hold up. So you gotta push her off the edge. Sigh! <laughs> oh, remember when Hillary? Remember when Hillary said sigh? Pokemon Go to, oh, gee, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, goodness gracious, remember, Pokemon Go to the polls and all that cringy stuff, Jesus Christ, and they really went all out, I mean, again, it really is accurate, though, I mean, there really is nothing different than fucking Demon and Hail Spawns, and Hillary, Cl Hillary Clinton's the ultimate Hail Spawn, what is going to happen here? Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god, y'all. Oh my god, y'all. Oh my god. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, unbelievable. This game has been great, man. This has been a really good game. Is it over? Hillary for hell on earth. Could you imagine? We got Antifa's roaming the streets with Trump in office. Could you imagine Hillary in office? The Antifa's would have fucking blown out half of the cities in America so far. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, so the base is blowing up. Hillary's... Hillary's been defeated. 
I don't know if this game came out before or after Trump became the president. I think this game came out before the election. I'm pretty sure. As you can see, Donald Trump's looking very short, but, you know, it's just a game. So, I mean, I'm sure it's not anything like that. Oh. The fight is finally over as Hillary's fortress begins to crumble and the evil starts to slowly dissipate and fade from existence. The corrupted people who sought power surely won't be returning anytime soon. Crestfallen, Trump gazes at the now brilliant blue sky and wonders why people, such as Hillary, become so corrupt and twisted. Though this long-winded battle, Trump couldn't even imagine a future with crooked Hillary or Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, that's pretty good. As president, using their haphazard campaigning and underhanded tactics to secure a false victory. Standing on the hood of his limo, Trump thinks about how this once beautiful, now corrupt nation can be restored to its former glory. With Hillary gone and Bernie fleeing to Mexico, America must now be rebuilt. It's time to finally, truly make America great again. Trump knows that within his heart, the corrupt, the jealous, and the deceitful will fight with him every step of the way. Oh, ain't that the truth? With the long road of the presidency ahead, which will bring its own set of trials and tribulations, Trump prepares for his new life. The 45th President of these United States of America, Donald J. Trump, has a nice ring to it, don't you think? An amazing game. That was pretty fun. I'm assuming this is the end. But, uh, thank y'all for watching, y'all. Really means a lot. Uh, if you got any more Trump games you want me to play, I mean, feel free to let me know. And, uh, y'all have a happy 4th of July. Now, would you hear? I didn't know this was gonna happen. I was unprepared. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States.